everybody, it's Jessica Khalil and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. This is the month of June and it is Gay Pride Month and this is a time of year that we get to do some extra celebrations for all of our friends in the LGBTQ community and I have a lot of friends in that community. I have family members, I have friends, I have dancer friends, artist friends um, that I've worked with. I think it's so important to stand up for them and encourage them year round. So this is my way of giving a small little tribute in the little way that I can give back. I want to do a fun rainbow butterfly look across my face right here coming out from my nose. I also want to do some lip art using negative space and kind of bringing in that butterfly effect into the lip area. I was inspired by a photo I saw on Pinterest so I will be sure to show you that picture now so you can see where I got the lip inspo So let's go ahead and get started. I am just using my little sample size makeup forever Artist color pencil and this is in the shade wherever walnut So it's pretty cool because these artist pencils that they came out with There's a little picture of an eye face and a lip kind of on the back of the pencil So that shows you that you can use it anywhere you please. So I'm going to use that to trace out my butterfly. So what I'm going to do is start out in the center and then work my way out to the rest of my face. I think it's really important when you are trying to do a symmetrical look or shape on your face that you do kind of one step at a time. For example, if I do the top of the wing on the right side, I want to go ahead and do the top of the wing on the left side. And then for me, it just makes it a lot easier to manage the symmetry between the two wings or whatever object you are creating. All right, so right off the bat, I know these are not perfectly symmetrical, so I'm gonna keep on going through, taking away, adding more, and just keep sketching it out, and hopefully we will get there by the end of this. And I don't know if I'm gonna create the centerpiece of this butterfly. I might kind of do it a little bit more symbolic, like the actual body of it. I'm not sure. I'm gonna leave that blank for now and decide, and decide kind of later. But for now, that is the shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on and put foundation on the other portions outside of the butterfly and then we'll come back and start painting the butterfly. Actually, I'll probably do my eyeshadow first and then we'll do the painting. Okay, I did all of my foundation. I did a little bit of bronzer and blush and then I set my eyes, or I prepped my eyes with the MAC um, paint pot in soft ochre so that all my eyeshadows will stick and then I just put a white eyeshadow over top just in this general region here so this way it is set and then I also kind of created a white canvas for my bright colors to pop. So what I want to do is start off with kind of the more yellow shades in the center and then go off into an orange and a red and kind of go that way. So to start with my yellow, I am going into the Vizzy Art palette and this is their, gosh, the editorial palette. So I'm just going to use this yellow and then I'll probably go into, I have a lighter orange shade, but then I'll end up here with this like super bright, amazing, beautiful shade of orange. So I'm literally just going to start packing it in the center. I have another yellow eyeshadow by NYX that I love so much that I might actually transition to from here. I don't know what I wanna do with my eyebrows yet, so I'm just gonna go over them. I might end up trying to create like some type of pattern to kinda of go with the wings. So we'll just see how it turns out. So now I have NYX Prismatic Shadow, and this is in the shade Gilded. It's so beautiful. It's a super nice shimmery yellow. I think this will go really nicely over the Vizier Yellow. All right, so that is looking good. I like the way the shimmer really made that yellow pop. So let's move on to the next color, which is orange. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and pop over to this like neon electric orange in the Vizier palette, just cause I love these shadows so much. And now I'm just gonna kind of stamp it on here. And I don't want like a perfect shadow. I want it to be kind of some parts are still more yellow and then some parts are of course the orange I am so excited for how this is going to turn out ok 
Okay, now that I have the yellow and the orange laid down, I'm taking a clean brush and I'm dipping it into a little bit of that matte yellow. And I just wanna go back and forth and really blend it and create a nice gradient effect. Now, moving on to red, and we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, now I'm actually going into Sugar Pale's red shade, a beautiful deep red shimmer shade called Kiss Kiss. Oh yeah, that's really beautiful. I love the shift on that. So now I'm moving on to purple, and you guessed it, we are still using the Viseart palette. And I'm dipping into this little bugger here, patting it in, and blending it inward. I really want to work this into the hairline because I want this top part of the wing to be bigger than my forehead. Now I'm really just going to take my time, pat that in, and just keep going back and forth so it looks nice and blended. Now I'm picking up the blue shade and going over the very edge. Okay, for some reason, this blue shadow isn't playing nice with the purple. It's actually lifting the purple up a little bit, which kind of stinks. So I think I'm gonna move on to paint. I'm going to do some stippling or dotting designs to kind of incorporate more of that blue and that purple in. I might do a bunch of dotting, I don't know. Um, I'll start off with the blue, see how I like it, and then we'll go from there. So for that, I am just using this nice little Artist Lofts paintbrush, and this is in the size three slash zero. And I'm using this awesome big palette, and this is Mayron's Paradise Paint, and I'm using this shade right here, which is Lagoon Blue. Okay, so I did all the blue dotting. I added some highlight in my inner corner. I used the shade Sassy from the Persona Identity Palette and I highlighted under my brow bone. I decided I just want normal brows the way I normally do them, normal eyeliner and false lashes. So I'm gonna go do that and I will be right back. All right, I did my eyebrows, my eyeliner, and just my mascara. I realized that I kinda wanna wait to put my eyelashes on until closer to the end because I'm gonna be doing all of the detail with the black paint and liner. So I wanted to skip that. I also realized that I forgot to add green which is definitely in the color of the rainbow. It's one of the colors of the rainbow and it's close to yellow. So I'm gonna dot in some green here, some lime green here to kind of connect that. I like the green, I think it added a really nice touch and then it also gave me a little bit of interesting detail under the front of my eyebrows, so I really liked it. So now before I start outlining and putting the details in black, I wanna take a little bit of dark brown shadow and kind of just create like a 3D effect. I'm just gonna kind of brush under and around all of the little details I think we're in a good place to go ahead and start outlining and doing some of the black detail. I'm going to use NYX Epic Ink Liner. I'm new to this liner, I haven't used it much, just a few times, so I'm excited to see how it performs on such a large area. I think it's going to be good. 
So all I am doing is kind of doing thick lines and thinner lines, connecting them together and kind of creating like some fluidity between the lines so that they kind of flow really nice. So now what I find in butterfly wings is that some of the black lines are thinner in some areas and thicker in other areas, but it's all very fluid. So for example, I want to take it a little bit thicker on this corner here, lighten up on the pressure right there and then around the edge, this circle here, I'm going to thicken it up again, if that makes sense. Let me try. I outlined everything and I did some like thin and thick lines here on the side and now I'm gonna do the detailed work like the little fine lines and these ones do not have to be straight they're actually a little bit crooked and they're not symmetrical they're different um, I mean they're kind of symmetrical but not like to a T so it's okay if we kind of wiggle things around a little bit so let's get to it That's cute, that's cute. Okay, so we have all the lines down. Now I'm gonna kind of connect the, the main outline of the black into like each little vein. So I'll show you how to do one and then I feel like I'm gonna need my mirror really close. So then I'll do the rest off camera. So I'm just gonna kind of connect, make like little, almost like little wells. Okay, if you can see what I did there. And I'll do another example right here. Where it kind of goes up into the little vein. Hope that makes some sense. Uh, let me do one more here. Okay, so if you could see what I did there is I left some holes kind of out. So, I feel like I gave you a nice little example of what I'm doing there. So I'm gonna do the rest off camera and I'll be right back. Oh, I wanna show you one more thing. Where each little vein connects to the next one, I'm also kind of creating a little bit of a thicker space there and I'm just connecting and rounding out. I hope that makes sense. Y'all, my hand is cramping. It is so hard to draw on the side of your face because your eyeballs like get stuck facing that way and then you get a headache. But we're gonna keep going, it's all good. So I'm using the little pointer portion of this liner and I'm gonna go in and create some little dots because that's my favorite thing to do. I love to do dots. Now moving on to add a little bit of iridescence to each side of my wings. I'm going in with NYX pigment in the shade Luna. It's so beautiful. It looks white in the bottle, but it is blue with the shift. The shift is blue and it is so beautiful. If you've seen um, a few of my videos, you know that this is a favorite of mine. And I'm using this itty bitty paintbrush. This is called Low Cornell and it is in brush size 2. Okay, I went ahead and popped on my lashes. I'm using Rouge and Rogue's lashes in Nirvana. 
They have the most beautiful lashes. I love how fluffy and long they are. And I'm really happy with how they look. I'm gonna cut up some lashes and glue them on my lower lash line so that it just, like I'm all lash, like, like a butterfly of lashes. The lower lashes are glued on and looking good. I'm really excited about how this is looking. So I want to show you what inspired me to do this lip. And this is, it looks like, I'm trying to read the watermark. Depeche Girl, her Instagram account. But anyways, I mean, it is so fly, this lip. So I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to um, do just, I'm just going to round out my Cupid's bow. But I still want to do the negative space butterflies. I think it's such an awesome lip. So for the lip, to start off, I'm using these two products. I'm using NYX Retractable Lip Liner in black, and then I'm using Lime Crimes Liquid Lipstick in black velvet. My black lipstick is dried and then I went over and patted some black eyeshadow over top so that they look pretty much matte. Okay, I have some concealer on the back of my hand. This is Tarte Shape Tape in Light Neutral and I'm using this itty bitty brush. This is the Artist Loft Detail Brush and, and it is in the size 2 slash 0. So what I think I'm going to do is paint on an X. And then from there add some detail and see if we can create the negative space butterflies. Okay, I don't want this to smudge. I don't want to talk too much, but I'm taking the Epic Ink Liner and going to do the um, black butterflies. All right, y'all, I think I'm done with the makeup portion of this look. I'm gonna go rummage through my wigs and see if I can find something fun that goes with this look and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I decided on my ombre teal wig. I love this wig. It is my ride or die wig. I love this wig. Um, I didn't want to really straighten it, so I just kind of made it messy, you know, because I'm tired. It's late at night. But anyways, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is my very small way in paying tribute to the LGBTQ community and the month of June because it is Gay Pride Month. So happy Gay Pride Month to you. And if you enjoyed this video, please, oh please subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out this way. I can produce more content for you and I know what you guys are digging and loving come and be a part of the jesse squad and follow me on instagram and twitter i am at gorgeous effects and then on facebook and of course youtube i am jessica am khalil thank you once again for hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed this look just as much as i enjoyed doing it for you guys i love you so 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 much just always remember you are loved you are amazing and love is love is love is love i'll see you in the next video bye guys